Welcome to the Invincible CEO channel. I am Didi Pavernik and I am the Invincible CEO. And on this channel, we help you manifest with ease because manifestation is simple, easy, and it's so much fun. This is our community chosen series, Deep Dive Into the Now. Welcome to episode six, Your Two Minds. And today I'm going to take you into an experience. Once and for all, you're going to understand what it's like to have conscious mind awareness and what it's like to have subconscious mind awareness and how the two are simultaneously happening, whether you're aware of it or not. So this series has been designed to take you deeper and deeper into the now moment, experiencing both presence, which we would call the conscious mind and awareness, which is the subconscious mind. And today's experience is very powerful because I'm going to walk you through this experience and we can we're going to experience it first from the subconscious mind's perspective, and then we're going to walk through it again and experience it through the conscious mind's perspective. And once you have this experience, because folks, anything that we're doing with manifestation, we could sit here and talk and talk and talk about all the different concepts. And I know it causes a lot of confusion. So it's really important to take yourself into the experience in the now moment, because the more and more you center yourself right here, right now, and give yourself the experience of that's what's just happening. And that's all that is. And that we don't need to be thinking about the past and we don't need to be thinking about the future. We just got to be actively present and actively aware right here, right now, because when the two minds are working together, for a common outcome. We, we can call it a goal for our logical left brain friends, or we can call it a manifestation for our more intuitive, energetic, or spiritual friends. But whatever you call it, it doesn't matter. What it matters is that in the now moment that you are activating, that you are aligning, and that you are anchoring into your consciousness what it is that you've chosen so strongly that doubt and fear are no longer a player, that you know what you chose and that you know that when you're looking at the template, the template is just a template. It's there for you to have an experience. And just like we experienced in episode five, when we went to zero point and then came into the assumption, the room that you were in looked exactly like it did prior to us doing the experience. But what changed, everything changed. Why? Because you changed, you made a different choice. So this is episode six in the series. And if you haven't seen the other episodes, each episode is standalone, but I highly recommend doing it in the order that they're being presented because a beautiful process is beginning to unfold. Now there will be ones that resonate more with you than others, and you don't have to do them in any particular order or any of them at all, or you could just do one, whichever one resonates the most with you. But I'm asked over and over again, what is the process? What can I do here in the now? Because we're coming from a paradigm that was heavily weighted in the doing, in the working hard, in the repetition over and over again. And when you're shifting out of that type of mode and into a more one and done transactional mode, we call the first one root chakra, where there's a lot of repetition. And now here we could say sacral chakra is the one and done transaction. It's very apparent when we do our one and done transactions in the real world that we do something, whether we make a payment and then we receive a confirmation back. When you're doing these experiences, we're not going to call them techniques anymore. Let's call them experiences. Let's make it so that we're really in subconscious mind mode, because you're going to see later in this video that the conscious mind likes to name things. It likes to label things. It likes to categorize things. That's its job. It's a really good inventory taker. It's a really great narrator, but the subconscious mind is automatic. And I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it in every video. The subconscious mind doesn't need to be impressed. It's already impressed. Just imagine if you consciously had to impress your subconscious mind every day to breathe for you or to digest your food, that would be ridiculous. So what I hear in some of these manifestation communities doesn't make any sense. 
It doesn't make any sense. It's already impressed. What's more important and what I want the Invincible CEO YouTube channel focus to be about is what are you consciously choosing right here, right now? Because the subconscious is already primed for it. It needs you to make a choice. So the other promise is that you are going to give yourself these experiences. This is really appreciate you coming back every day and going into the videos deeper and deeper. And I highly recommend watching them over and over again because you will pick something up different every single time. But what we really wanna focus and do here is the promise to yourself. Make yourself a priority in your own life because whatever you've been doing, your mind shows you what the outcomes of that previous storyline is. You have to stay present and focused. And sometimes when people come into my programs, they're like, oh, this is too much work. It's not too much work. Too, it's too much work to be in the old reality because it takes a lot of work to keep lack present. You have to work hard to argue for your limitations. You have to work hard to bring lack in to be a player. It's the undoing. It's the letting go and trusting in that letting go and then choosing something new and fun to do. If this is work for you, then you're not in the right place or the right mindset right now. And maybe you should step away for a little while. Take it away from yourself. Go back to the old reality. Let it show you what it keeps delivering for you. Because all you're doing is bringing the two minds together in the now moment. That's the powerful thing. And when, and when you start to understand that a house divided is what takes your manifestations long. When the two minds are in agreement, things happen quickly because the subconscious is already impressed and you're sticking with your conscious choice and you're allowing the shift from one reality to the other. And we showed you yesterday that it's very simple, very quick, very easy with the zero point and then your assumption. And then as you go about your day, you look for evidence of your assumption. And we'll get into looking for evidence in a future video. Sometimes I wish I could put them all in one big, big video, but I, I don't know how many hours long that would be. Okay, so what I wanted to do real quick is just go over the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. So the conscious mind is meant to be a point of discernment right here in the now moment. It makes a choice. If you're driving your car and you come to a dead end, you either have to turn left or right. And it's the version of you that makes the decision. When you make the decision, your subconscious mind starts moving the body. Whatever action is needed, your subconscious mind will be then immediately impressed because you made a choice. And it inherently knows what to do even before you consciously understand what to do. So as you're learning, say, manifestation, you may not know what to consciously do, but trust that your subconscious mind already does. And it just needs you to make a choice and then not contradict that choice. So your conscious mind is the labeler, right? It labels everything. It likes to categorize things in neat little boxes. And then when you make a choice, it knows what box to open up. So just imagine if you decided today to go and uh, clean out your closet and reorganize it. That is such a conscious mind task. It loves putting things in order, but simultaneously the subconscious is moving the body because the conscious mind made a choice to go into the closet, to start moving things around and to start organizing them. So immediately the subconscious mind has the space for the conscious mind to choose. And then once the conscious mind chooses, the assumption is acted out immediately. Everything turns into a playground for that assumption to unfold and be fulfilled. Now, the subconscious mind, as we were just saying, it beats your heart, it digests your food, perspiration of your body. When you decide to get up and stand, it knows what to do. It knows, it knows all the states of being. It knows how to walk your legs. It knows how to chew your food. And you know, that's a really good example of the conceptual conscious mind eating. If we take eating, you've never eaten anything in your whole life. It is a catch-all for biting and chewing and swallowing. They are actual specific actions. So what I like to do in manifestation is to take you out of the concepts, to take you out of hyperbolic language unless we're going to use hyperbolic language to aid in your manifestation. And we'll get to that in future sessions down the line. But for now, your conscious mind 
is either the narration you're hearing in your head, but again, it's not you that's narrating it. The conscious mind is not you. It's just a point of discernment where you make a choice. The subconscious mind is not you. It's the operating system. You are the bigger consciousness that has a conscious mind and a subconscious mind. You are really super consciousness. That's why we say that you're the creator of your reality because you can hear the narrator. You can hear those thoughts coming in. That's not you. You are, if you can hear something, if you can see something, you're not it. It's coming into your consciousness. And your subconscious is that bigger programming that you can allow as the big consciousness to help make the choice and then activate the system. Okay, so I really want to keep this video short today and I wanna get you into the experience. So this is something, once again, that is best done. This one's best done sitting up and getting nice and relaxed. So we're not gonna go into three minutes of zero point. Let's just do our three big deep breaths because then we can say, and I do this before I do anything, before I check my emails, before I uh, return a text, before I do a video. At the very least, remember, three big deep breaths because then you can say without a doubt, and a, and, and a different version of you can't come in later on and question what was done because you put yourself so focused and so centered right from the get-go. So three big deep breaths. Let's get ready for the first one. We're going to do in through the nose, hold, and then out through the mouth. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Good. So now that we're nice and centered, I do want to remind you quickly that there are a few things going on in the invincible CEO world, universe, whatever we want to call this fun place, this beautiful manifestation playground. On April 15th, 16th, and 17th, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, we are having a three-day manifestation challenge. We are revising your past. It is in our beautiful, wonderful private community. All you have to do is sign up. Nothing fancy. You come in Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be going live via Zoom inside the group so that you'll have live interaction with me. And we are going to teach you step-by-step step how to revise your past. It is so much fun. You also get access to last month's three-day challenge, which was the Funny Money Manifestation Challenge, and all of the fun nurturing that happens in the group. Take a moment, decide. So now we're going to bring your conscious mind in to decide to join the group. If you've already are in the group, there's nothing for you to do. But if you're not, sign up for the group right now. Also, while we're here, and if you're enjoying the series, I highly recommend scheduling a 15-minute chat with me to see how I can help you on your manifestation journey. There's so many wonderful options available to you that you may not realize. And I just love putting a name to the face so that we can connect and see how we can get you moving further, faster on your manifestation journey. Okay, so now here we are, and we're going to start with the conscious mind. So the conscious mind is our inventory taker. It's our labeler. It is our narrator. I always say when you hear those thoughts in your head that are not your own, have some other voice narrate them, right? Something that really stands out that gets your attention that it's not you. You haven't identified with those thoughts yet. You are just allowing them to come into your consciousness. But your conscious mind loves to categorize. It loves to label. It loves to quantify, qualify, justify. It likes to connect the dots, but it has about a 15 to 30 second, um, it has a 15 to 30 second attention span. It's just that they're very, very linear, one right after the other, that it gives the idea of it's one streaming consciousness. But you're making so many different choices, even when you don't realize you're making choices, because a lot of the times we've handed over that to the subconscious. And it's when we become more conscious in the now moment that we do something different, that we get these subconscious minds deeper attention, that we are shifting realities, we are shifting stories. 
let's talk a little bit now about the subconscious mind. And we've said this before, that your subconscious mind is always on, whether you're aware of it or not, because your heart is beating, whether you're aware of it or not. Your, your food is digesting, your hair is growing, the cells are splitting, all of that is being taken care of for you. That's how well you, loved you are. And that's the level of trust that you have right here, right now. So your subconscious mind is the observer, whether we're observing through our eyes of what we see, we're observing what we hear through our ears, we're observing what we touch, not only through our hands, but the rest of our body. I became super aware that my jacket is touching my body, right? I'm, I'm even more aware that I'm, my hands are on top of my jacket touching my body, right? So your subconscious mind speaks very differently because the conscious mind speaks in words. It likes to hear itself talk. It likes to create narratives and it likes to create stories. But we've said that the subconscious mind speaks very differently. It speaks in repetition. It speaks in ceremony or ritual, and it speaks in sensation or feels within the body. And we've activated some feels in some of these previous videos. So now I want to give you an example of doing the same thing first from the subconscious mind's point of view, and then from the conscious mind's point of view. And this is going to show you how, when you have an overactive conscious mind, something that is very short, sweet, and to the point can take forever. That's why I always say you can't get it wrong, but you can make it long. And now all we will realize after we're done this here is that you don't have to make it long because we can kind of really condense what the conscious mind's job is because it's kind of run amok. And now we're going to rein it back in and you're going to start to see your manifestation timeframes shorten, shorten, shorten. Because again, in the now moment, no thought is needed. No story is needed because what's happening is what's happening, right? Right now, as I'm speaking, I can hear cars driving by. I can, we have a little bird uh, up in the roof. I can hear the bird moving around. I can hear the birds chirping out there. Now, I don't have to say those words. I'm conveying a story to you because you're not here. And I found in my videos that even though I'm hearing that stuff, somehow it gets muffled out that it doesn't interfere with my videos. So I had to tell you the story of what's happening. And that's huge. So because the conscious mind and all its words aren't really needed, isn't really needed in the now moment because what's happening is happening. We're going to give you that experience and then we're going to, we're going to tie it into shortening time frames when we are done. So if you're liking what we're doing here, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that already, and please share this video and this series with all of your manifestation friends. Okay, so what I'm going to have you do is pick a direction. It doesn't matter if you go from left to right or right to left, but I want you to turn your head and we're going to be the observer. And we're, this is subconscious mind mode. This is the subconscious mind version of this. And what you're going to do is you're going to look around the room that you're in and you want to take everything in. Like you just sat down in the chair and this is the first time you're here. So you're going to turn your head and you're just going to take everything in, everything in. And you're going to just slowly as you go and you're scoping the room. Now you're doing it without thought. I'm just giving narration here as to what you're doing, looking at everything seeing everything that's there until you get to this side. And then I want you to just gently go back and do the same thing. Just noticing everything. That's all you're doing is you're just noticing what is, what's here on the template. Take a good look, looking around. Okay, awesome. That didn't take very long at all. And as we're doing this, everything is being noted in our minds. And we could have even look behind us if we wanted to, right? But there's an assumption of what's back there. And nothing had to be labeled. Everything was understood. Even if you walked into a room and you didn't understand what some of the objects were, maybe it was some kind of fancy artwork or something you've never seen before, a contraption or, or, or an invention. Even as you would scope the room, most of the things you're going to understand, it's a you understood, it's a given, especially if you're in familiar territory. But even if you're not, 
most of the time it'll be noted and no thought is needed. It doesn't need to be labeled. Okay. That was the subconscious mind. Now we're going to do the same exact exercise, except now we're going to do it from the conscious mind's perspective and you're going to name everything. You're going to name everything, okay? And you can't move your head until you've named everything. So it'll look like this. Ceiling, walls, cables, cabinet, phone jack, computer, desk, other computer, more wires, some kind of box, glasses, lamp, glasses, stapler, papers, headphones, pens, book, keys, push pins, candle, floor, desk, door, handle, doorknob, pillow, closet doors, wall, vent, smoke detector, couch, green pillow, gold pillows, computer, water, lights, green, blue, red, white, purple, lamp, stand, phone, jackets, stuffed animal, blanket, shredder, windows, shades, blinds, one, two, three, plants, coins, quarters, pennies, dimes, plug, wall, more blinds, diffuser, three plants, event, floor, molding, ceiling. Okay, so it was the same room and we've only gone one way and you can go now and go back and do the same. But what I really wanna point out now is how much the labeling, how much the words, how much having to put names on what's obviously there. Did you notice how quickly when we did it from the subconscious mind that we just kind of scanned Boom, and then we were able to go so quickly, go backwards, right? Maybe what did it take? 30 seconds, if that. But and, and I'm sure that when I did all the labeling of what was in my office, not even counting the chair that I'm on, that I probably missed some things. I probably missed things that needed to be said, but to the conscious mind, it was enough, right? It was probably 90% of what's here, but it took a really long time because I had to stop and speak and label what was obvious. All this stuff is so obvious. And that's how in manifestation, you create bigger time gaps. You, you create bigger time frames because if the command was scan the room, Notice everything there, boom, done. But then when we say scan the room and label things, everything out loud, and I probably did it a lot faster just for the sake, sake of this video, because I really, when I walk you through this one-on-one, -on -one, I want you to see that bigger time gap because that's what's happening when you make a choice in the now moment, this is what I want, this is who I am, this is my declaration, I'm commanding my reality. And then you start observing and then you start a narration about what you're observing, but you don't even know if that narration is true. That's just the state of being that you're operating from because that same template can be something totally different. What we need a story for really is very small and minimal. And it's really, if we take the conscious mind down to the real job that it's supposed to have is in the now moment, it makes a conscious choice. I am a millionaire, right? If I declare, if I go into my zero point and then come into the assumption afterwards that I'm a multimillionaire, that same exact room that let's say if you had a thousand dollars in your bank account first, and then you declare, I am a multimillionaire. Because the moment that you declared it, it's true, it's it. The same things that were in the room when you only had $1,000 in your bank account, and it still may reflect that after your declaration, after your command, this is the room of the multimillionaire. Because we take whatever is 
and we put a story over top of it. And Neville Goddard said, the only reason why you don't see it quicker is because you don't believe it because you're still attached to this room with your old story. And how a great real life example could be of how this could happen for you is let's say you played the lottery last night and you are watching this video and you still have that thousand dollars in your bank account and you don't know that you won yet. So this is the room that you're sitting in. And then after this video, you go check your ticket and now you're a multimillionaire. Guess what? This is the room you're sitting in. So when we start to understand that the now moment, what is, doesn't need a story. So if we are going to consciously choose a story, let's take what is and put the most amazing story over top of it because Everything is the unfolding because the unfolding can only happen in the now. So if you're in a house that you're unhappy with, that house that you're in has to become your mansion. Because at one point, it was your choice. It was your choice for whatever reason. It served you at that moment. It's only after a while that you realize, oh, I want something different, not something better. We're only going to go with different. And that's going to be a future episode also. Because to the subconscious mind, it's just different choices. There's no good or bad. There's no right or wrong. There's no more or less. There's a big difference in vibration and in state of being from I don't have enough to I want more. A lot of times we make the story and connect the dots. I want more because I don't have enough. You already have enough. You have what you have. You have what's happening. And that's enough. I have everything I need right here, right now, plus more. And when I choose differently, different will arrive. We're going to get away from the dichotomy of duality of more or less up or down, in or out as we go through this series. So I want you to do this again and again today. In addition to your deep breathing, being come, remember always at least three deep breaths before you do any experience, because that you can definitely say beyond a doubt to both minds, I was fully present. I took the time. I zeroed myself out. If you can get the three minutes in, get the three minutes in. But then go and do this again and do it with a timer. This time, take a timer and time how long it takes for you to scan the room from the subconscious mind's perspective. And then how long from the conscious mind where you label everything and, and to a conscious mind that wants to hold you to a high standard, it doesn't want you to miss a thing. You are not allowed to move your gaze until you literally every single thing is labeled and said out loud because I want you to really see how the unnecessary labeling of things, the unnecessary of putting a story on things slows down your manifestation time. And this is huge awareness because this is all you, this is all here for your benefit. Why would you put a story over top of it of what's just happening that doesn't serve you? All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm loving this series. I'm loving delivering the series to you. Please comment below any aha moments that you had, anything about your experience. I love getting the community here talking and sharing because not only can you learn from this video, but we can learn from each other's experiences. What was your experience? Please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that for more delicious deep dives into the now, and share this video and this series with all of your manifestation friends. Even our logical left brain friends could really benefit from what we're discussing here. It's a whole different perspective. And I look forward to you coming back again tomorrow because all I want to do is see you win, win big win all the time because what's happening is happening and you get to be the creator of the story that goes over top of it. So if you're liking the series, come back tomorrow at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time for the next episode. And by chance, if you haven't seen any of the other videos, I'm going to put the playlist right here so that you can take a deep dive into the now and binge watch this series because you will be blown away. Thanks so much. I appreciate you deeply and get on my calendar and get in our manifestation group because I want to see you there revising your past, having so much fun. One last reminder, we go live tonight here on the YouTube channel. It's Wednesday. We're going to go live at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you there. Enjoy.